Hey there, Kipsy fans and computer vision aficionados. It's Julie here with Kipsy. You probably already know that computer vision is an incredible technology that allows us to transform real time video feeds into actionable data. Now we can use that data to improve safety or increase performance or operations, and we can even use it to reduce costs or connect it to other applications altogether. Now we do this across dozens of industries here at Kibsey with our no code computer vision platform. But what's really cool is the technology that runs behind the scenes that makes all the magic happen. And I was chatting with my buddy Carter here at Kibsey, and he was explaining to me from a use case that we've been looking at recently, some of the tech decisions that are happening behind the scenes. And I thought this is so interesting. I asked if I could hit record. Now the video that you're about to see really is just somebody packing a box. I know that doesn't sound very exciting, but what's happening is that we are actually monitoring what's getting packed in the box. We're looking at things like whether items overlap and how many items are being put in there. And we're also connecting all of that data up to an inventory system so that we know when that person who's packing the box needs to have their inventory replenished. And if you think about that from a business perspective, it's pretty amazing that without him having to scan each item or do anything crazy like that, just by performing his daily operations, we're using computer vision to capture that data and transform it into a checklist and into a running tally. Pretty cool. Now, Carter's gonna explain some of the cool technology that happens behind the scenes, and I hope you find it half as interesting as I do. Over to you, Carter. Alrighty, so here we're looking at a demo of a person packing up a box with some inventory. This could be anything in practice, and there's a lot going on here, so I'll walk through. So first of all, this person is packing and bringing objects in pretty fast, so we're operating at 30 FPS here, and the Kibzy Vision platform is totally flexible, so we can run at any frames per second, whether the video is slow or fast, and then we just need to design or have models that can be uploaded into the Kibzy platform that operate at that speed. And so now for this second box, we'll start to dive in to some of the details because there's like a lot going on behind the scenes in this video. So first of all, when this person brings in a new product, okay, so I pause it and we see that it has a green box around it. So in Kibzy, it's a no-code platform. So when this video stream is uploaded as something that you want Kibzy to interact with, we can define regions, which are just areas within the video. And so since this box is always in the same place, we were able to put a region around it and say, this is the box. And now we have a model that will detect all these different products that you see here anywhere in the frame and we can track whenever they are leaving or entering the box. And so in this case, whenever something enters the box, it gets a green bounding box around it. So now we can immediately see another problem. So this is stacking, where he's physically stacking some on top of each other. And we can also leverage the region to, to solve this issue because by the nature of this problem, the only way that objects are going to be in this box is if they entered the box. The only way objects are not going to be in the box is if they were never put there or if they leave the box. So we don't have to worry about the model missing things as they get covered and other things stacked on top of them. Because once it's entered the box, we know it's in the box unless it gets taken out of the box. And I think we'll see an example later. And then also, as he puts more and more things in, the objects in here become very dense. And a lot of models can have a difficult time really figuring out what's what. There's just a sliver here. See, there's that stacking that happened. So I guess it didn't get completely covered, but these bean dips up here in the top right did. But we can see that we've got them in the counter up here. So actually, speaking of this counter, this is a separate secondary app to Kibzy, a tool out of the box that's also no code that Kibzy has is called events. And so that's boom. Here, when the box entered, that triggered an event. And then that can send anything to SMS or any webhook. And in this case, we have the secondary app, which picked it up. And then it was able to live in real time, 
know what was in the box because of that event that got triggered. And this can solve lots of flexible business concerns, in this case, inventory. So if we imagine that we are a business and we are running this app and we need to keep track of inventory, say on this shelf, for example, then we can subscribe to Kibzy, our computer vision platform, and know anytime a box enters this, fire off an event, we subscribe to those events, and then we can keep track and update the inventory here, as well as the state of the box. So I'll keep playing it, and then you can watch, see the inventory drop, this counter go up. So now he's bringing in more lays. We're running into the stacking problem, but our state has solved that. Oh, so now we know in this box, in our secondary app, we know we're supposed to have only four bags of lays in this box. And since another one has come in, we know, oh, this is an error. But then the person packing this, he realizes that and he can take it out too. And then everything gets updated. The inventory gets updated. So this is just another really flexible tool. Yeah. So see how we're still able to keep track of the bean dips, even as more objects get stacked on top of each other. And then everything is running live and in real time. And this is just with a few of the features that come with Kibzy, just out of the box. No pun intended. <laughs>